Today's workshop for the Beaumont Board of Managers is now over, but not before the group discussed a number of ideas that every parent of a BISD student will want to hear. The managers discuss transportation, athletics, security, and human resources. KFDM's Justin Hinton is back from the meeting and has the details. Justin? Kelly, of all of the meetings so far, this one seemed to be the most confusing for the Board of Managers as the group went back and forth trying to get answers from department heads on transportation, athletics, security, and human resources. At the same time, Board President Dr. Jimmy Simmons says it was productive because now those department heads know exactly what the Board of Managers is looking for when making tough decisions. We're just trying to make sure that they understand how many people you plan to employ in this budget. Trying to understand seemed to be the theme for tonight's workshop for the Beaumont School District's Board of Managers. As Athletic Director Rodney Sabet explained his budget, the Board of Managers was a bit confused. So we need five stadiums. Sabet had to leave for a game, but the manager said they would send him specific questions to learn more about his budget. Interim Police Chief David Hall also explained his budget. Again, the Board of Managers asking for him to come back with more information. It may have seemed a little harsh, but actually, I think we got some very good information uh, out of these uh, individuals that appeared before us, and I think they got some real good direction on how to move forward. Based on the information presented by Ezell Brown over the Transportation Department, the Board of Managers found the bus system to be ineffective. 119 bus routes, but only 104 drivers, calling for 15 substitute drivers. Manager Vernice Monroe explaining several kids were not arriving to school on time. If you needed 119, you should have had 119 on your shirt saying they won't let me talk, but I need 119. But Brown says he was told by HR Director Dr. Dwayne Augustine not to hire more drivers, even though his department was budgeted for 136. And decisions have to be made on a daily basis in a school district like this. And we have charged this administration with reducing costs wherever they can. And I think tonight it gave us a great opportunity to see where there was a cost reduction that we particularly didn't approve of. And I think they'll correct that right away. Do you fault him for making that decision? Or? Absolutely not. Superintendent Vern Butler stressed this was only a workshop, no action was taken. That will happen on Tuesday. In addition to some of tonight's discussion, Dr. Simmons says the board is scheduled to begin the process of selling district property. We'll let you know how it all plays out next week. Kelly?